What is going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna go out on the surf again. We're actually gonna be getting there like 30 minutes after high tide. But the thing is, is that when it goes from high tide to low tide, it only drops about half a foot. So if you think about it, it's still technically high tide. So we're gonna try to see if that tide change that's very minimal will have an effect on the fish we catch today. So the target species for today is going to be surf perch. We are 30 minutes past high tide, peak high tide, but as outgoing tide hits, it's only dropping half a foot. So technically, we're still in high tide, right? I'm also very excited today because I wanted to try out a different lure that I hope is going to be surf perch candy. And hopefully it lasts a little bit longer than the sandworms and bloodworms that we all keep using and buying from our tackle shops. And the lures that we're using today are called Helgramites, which are these. They look like little bugs, but I wanted to use it because one, it has the appendages just like the bloodworm sandworms that we use. Uh, hopefully this lasts a little bit longer because after using the bloodworms and sandworms, honestly, after like one bite, it literally just disintegrates and like it rips up and you, just, you basically can only use it like once or twice and then you have to throw it away to get a new one. So hopefully this will produce the same bite as a bloodworm or sandworm. I also got in different colors as well. I got this one right here. I got like a little like brown one and I also got a green one right here. So our setup is nothing crazy. You know, it's the same thing that a lot of surf fishermen use. We got a Carolina rig right here, 30 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. We got a one ounce weight and with two hooks, we have a better chance of hooking up on a surf perch. So let's get our line in the water and hopefully we can catch a fish. Let's see if we can catch us a fish. First cast. That's not good at all, what the heck? No wonder. Finally, Jesus, okay. And that is why you guys, you only fish with one hook on the Carolina rig because it's just nonstop like twisting your line and it gets wrapped up, so. All right, first spot is a bust. Hopefully, we can work our way down this beach and find them. Although, this is a well-known beach, hopefully you guys can 
figure out where I am. Because for me, no one's telling me where any of these spots are. No one tells me, or I don't ask people where certain locations are. I dig through a lot of YouTube comments. I watch videos over and over and over again to see if like the structures are similar to what I see on Google Maps. And if they are, there's a likely chance that that's where the spot is. I like finding these spots that a lot of people try to keep secret. And hopefully you guys can find them too. It's just a matter of how bad do you want to find these. Give this spot a go. Come on, baby. Where are you, sir, for a chat? I know you guys are around here somewhere. There it is. There it is, guys. Got one. Let's go, baby. Knew it. Very subtle bites, but we finally got a fish. Yes, sir. Bring her in. Oh, it's a good size perch. Actually, it's all right. It's not the biggest, but you know, it's one. There it is, y'all. It's a little bit on the smaller side, so we are gonna let this one go. But first fish of the day, baby. Nice little barge surf perch. See if there's any bigger ones out there. So far, we've only caught one fish. Now, I don't know if this is surf perch candy yet, only because we can't really say it is unless we catch more than one fish. It's looking very, very slim here. But you know what? We're gonna try our best. We're gonna keep trying. Hopefully, we can find the surf perch because I'm not getting tired. I honestly have a bad habit of staying at one spot for a little too long. That just goes to show you how much of an amateur I am at surf fishing. But hopefully, the more we move down, the better it gets. This guy stood out far. Go. All right. Now let's reel it in slowly. There it is. There we go. There we go. Perch on, baby. Let's go. Woo! Finally. Finally. Is this a keeper? Oh, it's kind of big. Oh, no, it's pretty small. Small size. But a perch nonetheless. Let's go. All right, buddy. Hold on. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Woo, woo, woo. Good one. I know. You got played. You got played by your boy. All right. These perches are really small, so we're not going to keep them. But perch number two on the Helgramite. Is this perch candy? I don't know. But perch number two, y'all. Let's go. Woo! Well, we got two perch on it. See if we can catch some more. I will say this is way more durable 
than the worm already. Two hours later. Well guys, I have to cap it for today. Uh, we did catch two surf perch, which was pretty awesome. No skunk, thank God. But we are gonna come back here again tomorrow to see if we can catch some more surf perch and hopefully even a striper. The next day. We had to take a quick detour at Walmart because one, I wanted to buy this to see if this would help the bite. And two, your boy needs an energy drink because I just got out of work and uh, I'm planning to stay there pretty much all day today. So this one's for the boys. Cheers. Mm, all right, let's go to the beach. We're actually at a new beach today and hopefully there's more surfers over here. Look at all these birds. Ah! Fly! Welp, day two, we skunked, didn't catch anything. Right now, the bait is inconclusive on whether or not it's a good bait to use for surf perch. And I don't want to leave you guys hanging like that, so I'm gonna go to the surf again on Sunday. Two days later. It's a third day now on the surf, and hopefully today's a day where we finally catch some fish. And in today's episode, it's gonna be very special because we are gonna be doing a catch and cook to make some fish tacos with some surf perch. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I'm extremely hungry. So let's just put our line in the water and let's see if we can catch anything. Let's see if the fish are out here biting. a little bit farther this time. All right, nothing here. The mission for Jonah and I right now is to find out where these fish are at. I'm trying to scope out the beach as much as I can, seeing where the waves crash and how much of a gap they have in between. It's one of those days where you really just gotta go out here, figure out where they are, and once you find them, you just stay there. So, we're still in the process of finding them. Let's go. There it is. There it is. There it is, y'all. Oh, it's a decent size one, too. Yep. Finally. We're gonna keep this one. Good taco size, right? Good pan size perch. Good enough for one taco. At least we got one, you know? One on the board. Woo! Algor might work, y'all. Let's go. No! No! No. We're not losing the only fish we caught today. Woo! Pan size. Finally. Okay y'all, one perch on the board. Put her in the bag. Nice. All 
All right, guys, we caught one, you know. It's better than none, no skunk, so that's good. I'm actually very tired. Um, we got a long walk to go, so what better way to get some energy than catch and cook surf perch right here on the beach. So I got a new catch and cook setup from Amazon, so hopefully I can do more of these for you guys and we can catch our food and then eat it. This is basically a backpacking uh, setup. It's my first time, kind of nervous. All right, cool, we got this on. All right, so this is a surf perch that we caught. It isn't that big, you know, it's about my hand size. It's gonna give us probably one taco, which is fine by me. I just wanted to do a catch and cook for you guys. So, are we gonna say that the Helgramite lure catches surf perch? I guess you could say it does work, but it might not be the best lure to choose for if you wanna catch a lot of these. Mind you, I've been to the surf three times already this week. Only caught three in total, which is kinda crazy. And you know, if they bite this and you land the fish, I guess you can say it does work. It might not be the best, but it works. This is something definitely I would throw back but since there are no size limit for surf perch besides the red tail, I decided, you know what, this might be the only fish that I can eat today. So I decided to just keep this one. Thank you, sir, for feeding me. And uh, you know, it's not gonna go to waste. So let's fillet this thing and make some tacos. Here's the meat. Looks so good. I'm so excited to try this surf perch. We're gonna wash it in the ocean real quick first just to get rid of anything, as well as put this fish back in the ocean so you know it can help feed our crabs. You know, giving back to the ocean as the ocean gifted us with food, we give it back to them. Now, I've never used anything like this, so it's gonna be my first time. So bear with me here. Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Awesome. All right, now for the fish, we have some cornstarch here, as well as some salt pepper. And I don't know about you guys, but I love Old Bay seasoning. Now while this is getting hot, we're gonna cover the fish with cornstarch. Just so it's a little bit more crunchy and more taco-like. We got some vegetable oil here. Oh, that's hot. We're gonna lower this down. Oh, whoa! What the frick? Oh, God. Hi, guys, it's too hot. We gotta lower this down a little bit. All right. Sorry, guys, this is my first catch and cook, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, just winging it right now. So, let's go cook the fish. One by one. Oh! Ooh, that was very close. All right. Oh yeah. This thing smells amazing. Guys, look at that. Oh my God, doesn't that look so yummy? All right, put this down, this one's done. This one is done as well. They're both pretty crispy, which is awesome. Welcome to my taco making station. We don't got a lot of ingredients, but we'll make do what we got. We got this delicious fish that we just caught right here. I got some pico de gallo. Put a little bit on there. And then the final touch is a little bit of lime. Here it is our surf perch fish taco. That looks pretty good to me. Now, the only thing we gotta do left, taste test. Get a little bit of lime on there. Or a lot of lime, I really like the lime. And uh, let's give it a shot. Mm. Wow. Look at all that white meat right there. This is really good.
You know, I've heard that surf perch are really good fish to eat. And uh, this is kind of like my first time actually doing a catch and cook with surf perch, so I can attest to that. This is really, really good to eat. Wow. You guys want the last bite? Well, sorry, you're not here. I'm hungry. And this tastes so freaking good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Surf Ridge is honestly such an awesome fish to eat. I low-key wish I had another one, because I would have made like a couple tacos, but today it's a one and done type of thing. I think it's time for Ash to actually go because it's about, it's 1.37. It hits peak low tide at like 240. I don't really like fishing low tide. I feel like I have more luck in high tide. The sun's coming out, you know? I gotta put on sunscreen or else the fiance's gonna get really mad at me. So let's make our way back and uh, talk to you guys in the car. Guys, we did it. Let's go. Oh man, that was a far walk. Oh, not gonna lie, I walked down that beach and you know what? We only got one surf perch, but that's one surf perch more than what we had on Friday. I don't know what it is, maybe I'm just not good at surf perch fishing yet. It was definitely a grind. That one was definitely a little bit smaller than what I would usually like take, but you know what? It was the only fish we caught today. It made a great meal and nothing was wasted, so you know what, that's a win in my book. I definitely want to get better at perch fishing, so uh, I'm definitely going to be out here a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think about this catch and cook. I want it to be a little bit more special than just bringing the fish home and cooking it at home. I feel like cooking it out here on the surf just feels a little bit more raw. You know, you eat where you catch your food and I think it was pretty awesome. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoyed this fishing video. There's definitely gonna be plenty more to come. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys can keep up to date with all my videos. Follow my Instagram right here to keep up to date with all my catches. And make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button because it honestly does help. So until next time, I'll catch you guys out on the water. Peace.